Hello, welcome to another leaf map tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a color map to a raster dataset. First, let me show you uh, what we are trying to do here. So, for example, you might have some raster dataset uh, downloaded from somewhere. And so, when you open the dataset in desktop.js, it looks like this. So, it already uh, has the color map, but after you run some computation um, and then you save the imagery, for example, using Python. And after that, if you open it, it might look like this. So basically, you lose the color map. And so it'd be nice to um, add the color map directly to the imagery so that when you open it uh, in desktop.js, it's going to still look like this. So this is what I'm going to show you. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going to use leaf map. So you can go to the leaf map uh, website. And then under the notebooks uh, uh, menu, go to find number 103. So uh, raster color map. After that, uh, you can either run this one in uh, Google Colab, so you can right click, open this one in Google Colab, and then uncommon this line uh, to install all the packages. You might need to restart the uh, runtime, so if after you finish the installation, you can restart a section, then you can run through the uh, novel examples. Uh, for this here, I'm going to download this one to my local computer and then to save to my uh, local drive. Then I can use uh, VS Code or Zupyter Lab to run these uh, examples. So here I'm going to use uh, VS Code and uh, you need to install all the dependencies. After that, for example, uh, we can just import the libraries. So for this tutorial, we're going to use the uh, raster dataset uh, examples from the NASA Opera Dynamic Surface Water, uh, water Extend dataset. Uh, if you're not familiar, you can uh, go to the uh, website and here uh, you can find the documentation. So for example, uh, you can download the data set uh, using also leaf map. So if you go to number 101, uh, this is actually another tutorial showing you how to download the data set. So assume that um, you already have the data set and I can here use this one line of code. So I already provide, I downloaded a sample data set here. I put it on GitHub. And so you can just use leaf map to download the file directly. So it's under here. So this is the one that I showed you earlier uh, in QGS. So this will be the data set. And so this data set has different values. So if you open this one, you should be able to see, for example, it's an integer data set, integer eight value ranging from zero all the way to uh, 255. So you see most of those actually just black color, except uh, zero, um, zero, one, two, and then all the way to uh, 252, 53, 255, 4, and 5. So those are the only <coughs> couple categories that have values. If you want to learn uh, what do those values mean, you can open the documentation and then scroll down, for example, to the product rosters. So the one that we're using here is the water classification data set. And you will see the layer classes. So these are all the values for each uh, class. So zero is not water, and one is open water, partial water, snow, ice, cloud, blah, blah. So this is exactly what is uh, here. So you can see uh, value, uh, the blue color, those are actually permanent water. So if you use the in, uh, identifier, if you click, you'll be able to see this is zero. And then there will be some partial water, for example, along the border. If you click this one, uh, you'll be two. And then there will be some, for example, something like this would be 253. So 253 would be uh cloud and cloud shadows so you get the idea once you have this data set then we can actually do some processing so you might be for example extracting some um a, a data set or a subset of the data set and then uh, once you have this one we can for example using a uh, uh, royal x-ray so to open the raster data set so just uh, we already import the royal x-ray here and so we can use the open raster io passing the file pass and then uh, we're going to load this one as a Rust uh, X-ray data set. So you will see here, this is X-ray. This is only one band because it's a single raster. And it has uh, 3,660 um, rows and columns. So you can see all the values in here. And after that, you can do any data processing you like. So this is just an X-ray, um, kind of like NumPy array. And then you can do some extraction or <coughs> data processing. After that, you might want to save this one to your hard drive. So what we're trying to do here is how do we get the color map or how do we figure out the color map? So after you do the data processing, you might want to uh, assign the original color map uh, back into the data. So uh, leaf map has this 
uh, one one line of code get image color map so you can pass in the file pass and then you can see the color map so uh, if you want you can look at this one what the color map look like so basically it's just a dictionary so a dictionary with um, keys is basically the value uh, the last value and the value is basically just a tuple with four uh, numbers so RGB and also the uh, opacity so you see here 0, uh, 255, 255, so this will be red, green, and blue. So this one will be the uh, white color, and this one is opacity. So basically fully opaque, and 1 and 2, and all the way to 252. Uh, in between, these are all 0, 0, 0. Those are actually just the black color. So you can actually get this one, and then you can directly assign. But sometimes you might be doing, for example, lane cover classification. So after that, you might want to assign a different color. So in that case, you can just define a dictionary. So 0, 1, whatever values you want to assign, and also the corresponding color. You can put four digits if you want. Uh, otherwise, by default, the number, the, the, the last digits would be 255. So here, I didn't specify that. So it'd be, this would be black color uh, or white color. And then this would be kind of like uh, um, blue color, uh, red being blue, right? And so I can define a color map like this. So once you have the color map, then you can use the leaf map uh, array to image. So this one allows you to save an array to an image, uh, either in the memory or to your local hard drive. So if you don't specify anything, you will be uh, saved as a temporary um, uh, array, a raster data set in the memory. So once I execute this one, you will see here, now we have this imagery and we have the color map. You can also define a dictionary. So this is what we're going to add a laser uh, to the map. So you can, for example, specify um, basically the, the label and this will be corresponding color to each of those. So because this is just the value and so this will be the corresponding labels. And after that, we can just create a map. So we're going to uh, create a leaf map and then uh, add the uh, Google hybrid uh, base map. Then you can use the add raster function to add the raster to the map. So this image is the one that, for example, we process uh, using uh, X-ray and then we assign the color map. So this one, this is why in here, it looks like this. So if you over here, right, this will be the water and zoom, I can turn, um, change the opacity and also at the laser is the one showing up in here. So now you have a map that with the imagery that already has the color map and also you have the legend corresponding to the color in here if you want to save this one for example um let me go back here array to um to imagery so if you don't use this way uh, this is what you're going to get so if you go to go back to this uh x array here and i'm just going to demonstrate why it's important to have the color map so data rate I O doc to raster. And this one will be, for example, image no color map. I'm gonna show you why. Because if you don't assign the color map by default, if you use this uh, X-ray or Rio X-ray to save the imagery, the imagery won't have color map. So let me show you. Uh, I'm going to open this one here. And this is the one we just saved, right? So if you drop a drag this one to the map, and oops. Uh, no color map, right? So I'm going to put it to the top here. So it looks like this. So this is the imagery. So whenever you do data processing, it's going to lose the color map. So the color map will not be saved to the imagery. And this is why it's important to uh, assign the color map so you can get either get the color map from the original imagery like this. And then you can use the leaf map dot the array to imagery. So you save this one. Uh, you can also specify the output. So I can specify the output here equal to uh, imagery. Okay. Uh, with color map .tif, right? So I have a new one here, image uh, image with color map. Then I can go back to the uh, QGS and image with color map. So if I right now I drag this one here and then move it to the top, you see now we have this color map. So this is how easy it is. Just one line of code, you can assign a color map. This is particularly useful if you're doing some lane cover classification. And after that, you uh, want to actually assign different colors. So in that way, 
you don't have to manually change the color every time when you load it into desktop GS because if it's just black and white then you have to uh, change that every time when you load it into desktop GS or when you add it to a um, to the map using Python so right now using the map add raster you see here I don't have to specify the color map you'll be just using whatever built-in color map comes with uh, the imagery uh, you can certainly add a color map so I can show here color map equal to maybe um, blues I'm not sure if it works or not let's give it a try uh it doesn't work here yeah maybe it's lowercase i forgot the word is uh not a very color map maybe uh we are is okay yeah you can certainly change the color map so this will be the very color map but it looks like this and this is usually not what you want uh, you rather use the color map if the image already has the built-in color map then you can use it directly so in that way um, you don't have to um, manually specify so and uh, that's all for this tutorial i hope you find it useful i will see you in the next one take care bye bye